What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw the female body. Now before we get started on this video, I just want to let you guys know that before we get to drawing the female body, you're going to need a picture of a face drawn. And I have a lot of videos on my channel explaining how to draw the face at a three quarter view, how to draw the face at a profile, how to draw the face at a front view, and how to draw it at a back view. There's a lot of face tutorials on my channel and I'll link to one of those face videos right there in the card and I'll also link to all of my face videos down in the description down below. But if you do have your face drawn like I do on my page right now, we're ready to get started. Okay, so off of the face we made a neck which is sort of like a parenthesis shape on this side and then the opposite parenthesis shape on this side. And I'm going to draw like a little collar right here. It's not going to be permanent, but it's just something to help us. Okay, and then coming off of the neck, we're going to make the shoulders. And then I'm going to draw a long line like this. And that's our line of action. And according to the line of action and the rules of anatomy, the halfway point would be right around here. So the torso would be bulged this way towards the left. And then the legs will kind of be hyperextended because in reality, the legs don't bend backwards that much. So the way the legs will be drawn, they'll kind of be hyperextended, but they won't be bent back like how they are on birds. But if that was confusing, just watch the rest of the video so you get a better understanding or at least a visual of what I'm talking about now. Okay, so coming off of the shoulders, we're going to begin to make the torso. Let's say we can have a stopping point right about here. It's close to this point, but that was just an estimate. And then off of this shoulder, it's not going to be the same line as this one, but it's going to make sort of a curve. Coming back to this line, let me give it some better depth. Okay, and then a little off of this point, we're going to make another point right here and then connect that back down here. Okay, and then this point right here is where the breasts are going to lie. So I'm going to begin to draw the breasts, which look like water balloons. So I might just draw just a letter C shape and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side but before we do let's make a little guide for us first so we can align it right. So I'm just going to make like an upside down U shape or a bump shape coming towards the line of action or the center line whatever you want to say. And then once we come back down we can begin to come back up and make another letter C shape that looks just like this but backwards. Okay, we can kind of curve that in there just a little bit. Okay, and then what I like to do is I like to make a couple lines to map out the midpoint in case I want to go back and fix it, which I probably won't do in this video, but that's just in any case. And then I like to straighten this line out that's underneath the breasts. And then it kind of look, and then the bottom of the torso kind of looks like a cup shape. But then coming back up here, we won't begin to draw the arms just yet because we'll save that for later. But for now, I can draw a little circle here because we're gonna use that to draw the arms, and I'm also, and I'm also gonna draw a little point inside of it. Yeah, so we're gonna use both of those later. And then we're not going to see much of that on this side, so I'm going to draw like a, a portion of this circle on that side. And we won't see the point either, unless you want to draw it on top of the breast to help as a guide later, but 
Again, this is at a three quarter view, so we won't see much of it. All right, and now let's transition down and draw the rest of the body. So on a female, the hips are kind of curvier than they are on males. So right here where this line is, that's the waistline. That's not necessarily the hips. So just to get that straight. So the hips kind of come out. And make like a wider shape like this. So again, this is the waistline. These are the hips. The reason this is called a waistline is because there are jeans for girls that can go all the way up to here. And there are some jeans that only go up to the hips. And the same thing with dresses. So it can get confusing, but that's the waistline. This is the hips. The hips are wider. Okay, and now I'm going to begin to draw the crotch. And I'm going to make a triangle shape to help me do that. So that's going to give the illusion of underwear. And underwear on women can be that high. So just keep that in mind. All right, and now we can begin to draw the legs. So, but before I do, I'm gonna make this circle right about here. And then over here as well. And then pick my midpoint. And then I'm going to use another set of guidelines, which is not this line of action, but it's going to somewhat follow it. So let me show you. So you see how I made this line a bit curved towards the right hand side. And the line of action is more curved to that side. The legs don't necessarily bend that way, but like I said, it will be hyper extended. So I'm going to have more of a curve on this leg too because it's more on the right hand side than that one is. So I'm going to kind of clean that up just a little bit. Okay, and then we can begin to draw the legs. So coming from the midpoint of the crotch, I'm going to begin to draw the thighs. And then I'm gonna make sort of like an oval shape for the knees. But what I'm really gonna draw is sort of a parenthesis shape on that oval to indicate the kneecaps. And then more of a curved line for the bottom part of the leg. And now I can draw in the feet. Okay, I'm just going to draw like a little guide for the ankles here, and I'm going to draw that too. Okay, now for the back part of the leg, it's actually going to start right here where the hips are. So, and a female has more curves on their body than males do. So coming off of the hips, we're actually going to stop at this point because that's the back of the knee. So we're going to make one big curve that starts here and ends here. Okay, so we got the upper leg drawn, and then unlike what we just did, we're actually gonna create a curve coming from this part of the leg, and then it kinda curves into this point where the ankle is. So I'm gonna create a letter C shape, or a parenthesis shape for the calf. And then it's gonna make a backwards letter C shape as a curve to come back to the ankle. Okay, and then that's the female leg. So let's draw the other one. And it's gonna have less of a curve than this one does. So let's, that's our midpoint, that's where the knee is. So I'm just gonna draw like a little circle here for the knee. 
and then a stopping point down here for the ankle okay so now from here let's draw so we're gonna draw the thigh and it has a curve And then it's going to connect to that circle. And then on each side of that circle, we're going to draw in some little lines to indicate the knees. And now from the knees, we can begin to make some straight lines coming towards the ankle. Or at least on this side of the leg. Okay, and then now it's going to be straight on this portion of the leg. And then the calves really start to show at the bottom portion of the back leg. So here's, we got a straight one. It's gonna stop at the knees. And then with that same curve that we did over here, we're gonna do right here, right now. Okay, and then I'm gonna quickly draw in a foot. Okay, now let me zoom back out so we can see what we got on the body so far. So yeah, that's what we have on the body so far. Actually, let me erase all these guidelines now so I can fix the underwear. And yeah, we're looking pretty good so far. All that's left to do is draw the arms and hands. So now let's zoom back in. Okay, so we're gonna draw a line from this point. And then we're gonna make the line that's the same length as this one and pick a stopping point that's close to the crotch area. And then we're gonna make like a small circle. And that's what we're gonna use to draw the hand. And keep in mind, when we draw the hand, it's gonna stop at the mid thigh, which is somewhere close to here. So let's do the same thing with the other side. And again, we didn't draw this point because again, it's had a three quarter view, so we're not gonna see every everything. So that line's gonna stop at the crotch area. And then draw a circle that stops close to the mid thigh. And that looks pretty good. This one could use. All right, and now we got our guidelines for the arms. So now we can draw them. So coming off the shoulder, we're gonna make sort of like a waterfall curve. Because you know how the movement of the water on a waterfall kind of starts on one level and then kind of curves down. That's what we're going to do for the arms. So we're going to do that. And the same thing on the other side. And then from the elbow, which is this point here, we're gonna make a curve that comes sort of close to the hand, close to what we did down here. And it's gonna gradually get shorter. That's what I forgot to mention. That's what the arm does when we when we transition from the shoulder to the hand, the arm length or the arm width will get 
it's shorter coming towards the hand. See how we started with this width and see how it got a lot shorter coming towards the hand that's what I meant if you didn't understand so before we get to drawing the hand we're gonna do the same thing to the other side that way I can draw the hands all at once all right so let's zoom back out and see the body with the arms and yeah, so we pretty, we drew a decent female body. All that's left to do is to draw in the hands. And I'm going to time lapse it. But before I do, I just want to let you guys know that if you're interested in drawing hands, I got two videos explaining how to draw different hand movements or whatever. I'll leave links to one of those videos up here in the card. And I'll leave links to both videos down in the description. So without further ado, I'm going to draw these hands in time lapse and then come back to you guys with some final words. Alright, so now here's the female body with everything. But before I finish the video, I'm going to take my kneaded eraser and then finalize this sketch. But before I end the video, I'm going to take my kneaded eraser, finalize this sketch, and then come back to you guys again. But before I end the video, I'm going to take my kneaded eraser. <laughs> but before I end the video, I'm going to take my kneaded eraser and finalize this sketch. All right, and that's how you draw the female body. Let me know if this video was helpful for you guys, and if it was, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.